What's good, y'all? It's your boy Woke. Back with another one today. <sighs> the Miami Dolphins have just made a really bad decision, y'all. They just paid two attack of a lawyer. Hit the like button, man. Like, comment, and subscribe for me, y'all. We gotta talk about this. Y'all know me. I got a video on the channel saying Tua is overrated. He's a fraud. They tell me, well, why do you hate Tua? Y'all, I don't hate Tua. What I don't like about Tua is this. It's so clear if you do any all 22 study into the Dolphins offense, how simple and stripped down that offense is and how much it benefits Tua. How simple Mike McDaniels makes the reads. Literally, it's built to get yak. It's built to be the most efficient offense in NFL. In the NFL. It's built to goose and gas to his numbers. But despite that, Tua is still one in six versus teams that made the playoffs in the last year. Despite that, when December comes versus the good teams, he shits the bed. He's not good. Why is that? The guy just... He's so flawed. So now the Dolphins have paid this man. Four year, $212 million. Now, that sounds ridiculous, right? That sounds crazy. But if we know NFL, we know that we're really working off the guaranteed number and truly the fully guaranteed number. So guaranteed, he has $147 million. That's for what I see. They reported 167 yesterday. It's actually more like 147, right? And the fully guaranteed number is only $93 million. So while I'm perplexed why the Dolphins will pay him, knowing his injury history, knowing how he's disappeared in the playoffs, knowing how he disappeared in the second part of the season, disappeared versus good teams, disappeared versus the playoff team, cal caliber teams, right? Why pay the guy? Let him pay fifth, fifth round. Let him play his fifth year option. If he proves it, give him the money. You're going to be paying him anyway. And if he's injury prone, you don't pay him. Simple. Or he doesn't play well, you don't pay him. Simple. Well, guess what? They paid him. But they did something real smart. Chris Jeer. Like, literally, Chris Greer made a out after this season. That if Tua doesn't play well the upcoming 2024 season before the 2025 league year starts in March, early March, they could cut Tua and be able to get out of his contract. That is insane for a guy to find for quote unquote $200 million and the team be good to cut him after the first year of the deal. But the way it's structured, if he's on the roster, after i think march 6 then the other 50 so million becomes guaranteed right but if he's not they don't have to pay him the other 50 only the 93 million they pay him right so the rest of the dead cap hits can be spread out over multiple years to be much less the broncos are paying over 100 million dollars in dead cap the Dolphins could easily eat $60 million in dead cap or spread that out over a few years, y'all. So see, the Dolphins, while I was perplexed why they paid them, they also understand the kind of player they have on their hands, right? They understand that two is flawed. They understand that they need to keep everything around him perfectly. They understand they need to pay Tyreek. They just paid Waddle. Pay most or pay at um, a chain. They want to keep Mike McDaniel. They want to keep the old line good. They understand, y'all, and I'm pretty pleased with what they're doing. Now I wouldn't have paid them nothing, cause personally, to me, Baker Mayfield is a better quarterback, and he got like what 33 million a year. The Bucks got a bargain. But we got to give Miami that. They got to out show. We're going to see what's going on. And the main thing Tua needs to prove this year, well, a couple things. One, health. He had one healthy year last year. Good. Show it again. 
two, processing defenses post play or post snap. Tua's main issue is those good defense showing one thing pre snap. Once the ball is hiked, they change to something totally different and it fools him. So I see him throwing so many interceptions right to the defense like he didn't even see it. Kurt Warner broke his film down and said, why are you throwing the ball now when you didn't just do it? Why don't you see this guy open? Why are you throwing it right to the defenders? Because post snap, he isn't good. So, if Tua can do that, if Tua can show that kind of growth, he can be a solid quarterback. He doesn't have the special effects. He doesn't have the legs. He doesn't have the strong arm. He doesn't have the creativity, the mobility. But to be his size, you got to have elite processing. And that right now, he doesn't have that. So we're going to see what Tua does this season. I'm going to be following the Dolphins real close, watching every single game. Because guess what? I still think you're a fraud, Tua. But maybe you could prove me wrong. You got paid. But truly, this is still a prove a year. Will you show and prove? Or will you fold to? We'll see. But that's the video for today, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. A lot more content dropping soon. All NFL season. We're going to do off-season coverage, preseason coverage. The entire NFL coverage. Doing a podcast, y'all. Covering the league. Tap in with me, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Shalom. Salute. Until next time.